talking about catapulting this driver head from behind us through to target. We all find it hard to get that feeling. I'm using this as inspiration for my lesson. Um, name is Jim. Um, I'm gonna say it's terrible, this. I don't really know his age. I think he's between 70 and 80, played golf for a long time, but always struggled with that feeling of tilting and moving over with a seriously open face, sacrificing distance, sacrificing accuracy, and really causing that big slice. But this move, I'm gonna talk you through the drill that we used with him, really changed it for him. And he's now, what he said the last time, the last three rounds that he's played have been the best golf he's played in years. Okay, so what you need for this drill is an alignment stick. We're gonna talk it through in the two stages, so do stick with this. And these two stages were learned over two lessons. And roughly about two weeks in between each lesson to really get a feeling for the body. So, as I mentioned, Jim really struggled with that feeling of it working over and open. So what we did is we got an alignment across the chest. We felt like our left shoulder worked under during the backswing, lead wrist nice and flat at the top. But we really just focused on keeping these shoulders working through the same plane they worked up on, they're gonna work down on. And then the feeling of allowing that head to move behind us and palm over. So watch that move there for me. Really watch that move. Sorry, I've got this on because, as you can really tell, it is Baltic. Absolutely freezing. Is that a northern term, Baltic? Uh, we'll say it is. Love it. Okay, so shoulders work on the same plane. Get the feeling of the shoulders working the same to begin with. Not standing, not steepening. I'm trying to feel as though they work through the same space. And then add in this. This. And one thing I'd say about doing this do it nice and relaxed. You'll start to get a great feeling for allowing the golf club to work behind us, the palm to work over, and catapult it through to target. You can really see that move. Okay, so how did we build it onto the next stage? Well, obviously, knowing me, next stage just means another alignment stick. So we popped an alignment stick through here. Should have planned this earlier. It's not a smooth transition, this. We're in. Okay, so alignment stick through there. And now we said, well, for us to stay in posture through the downswing, we need to get the hips moving as well. Okay, so we then went back to the first lesson. We said, well, we know the shoulders want to work through the same plane. That's through here. Now we need the hips just to move ahead of the shoulders, but whilst maintaining that head feeling like it's catapulted behind us with the palm to the ground. So second lesson, we, we went through this whole process. Again, holding the golf club, but just really be bothered about body to begin with, trying to feel like our blue alignment stick is coming behind the yellow. It's not working over and vice versa. It wasn't moving up. So we just said about, okay, Jim, get the body moving right first. Get the body moving right first. And we called that these exercises that he could do every single morning, even without a golf club in his hand. Then adding this whole drill together, we said, right, okay, add in catapult and palm to the ground. And by the way, I should stress this, this drill really worked with his irons and his driver. Double bang for your buck, double bubble. That's off a game show or something, isn't it? No, I've made that up, haven't I? It's off the gentleman. The gentleman. I can't really mention that movie, can we? Some film. Some film, that. One of my favourites. So we then went, okay, to the top, palm down, in. Top, palm down, in. So really got a great feeling as though the lower half was firing, the upper half was staying in posture, the body was tilting and pivoting, whilst allowing the golf club to work behind and palm over. And that was the process. Now, within between all of that, of course, we hit lots of shots. We hit lots of shots with seven iron, nice and slowly, hitting seven iron roughly probably 50, 60 yards until we built up to driver. So the next stage was, how do we take this to the golf course? Because if you've watched the content that me and Josh produce on a Friday, we said the seven questions that you need to ask, and this is one of them. How do I take it to the golf course? I'll leave a link to all those videos down below. Some fun. 
basically us taking the mick out of each other. Lighthearted, so make sure you go and check them out. It's a great Christmas watch, so go and watch them. So, what I want you to feel now is, Jim, we put our left hand on our right shoulder, we move it to the top, we've got the lower half and upper half working, we felt that the golf club was behind our hands, the right palm was working over, and we turn through. That was our first practice swing. The second one was completing the same motion with two hands in. He was then ready to hit the shot. So we worked it from being no way near catapulting this club head to working through the first stage, practicing on his own, working through the second stage, and now he's in the position where he's playing some consistent golf. We're now thinking, right, okay, how do we get hitting this further? Well, this is the answer to that as well. I just want to kind of explain this one more time. So what we're looking for on the downswing is the right arm to make this motion. So this allows the club to be catapulted behind us and allows the face to be strengthened. This allows us then to move it through and accelerate through to target. To work it through those stages, it's really important you follow those stages. So you're then on the final hole, like I'm here at Motcham Hall. I'm comfortable, I'm confident, and I know I can hit one right down the eye, diddle, middle. So I hope you really enjoyed that video. My catapult method to help you hit longer drives. One thing I'll stress, it's good for all your clubs. So hope you've had a fantastic Christmas. This is our time to get start getting ready for New Year. So hope you're having a great safe Christmas with all your family and friends. Merry Christmas. Don't forget, smash that subscribe button and join this team.